So, you're talking with your big, fat, atheist friend who tells you What do you even say to someone like that? I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings. I apologize for lying to Thunderfoot and to all of those whom I have deceived. I posted a video in which I alleged that Thunderfoot had committed blackmail. Again, for this, I apologize to Thunderfoot. I'd probably answer them something like this. I mean, look, let's be honest. I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings. What makes the Bible unique from every other book ever written? Why doesn't God heal amputees? Because they don't deserve their arms. We deserve to die. That's what the Bible teaches. The Bible is not one book. The Bible is many books, all the way to Jesus Christ, who was foretold in hundreds of different ways. Foretold? Or did the writers of the Gospel simply read through the Old Testament and then write their stories to fit the prophecies, however absurd that made their stories? Did you see the one about Jesus riding two horses? So I'm asking you guys to employ me. I only need a dollar from 500 of you. Sending me a dollar a month. 500 of you. Can afford a dollar a month. Send me a dollar over PayPal. I don't know why you guys, if you're Christians, uh, why you wouldn't spend a dollar a month. This is the Holy Bible, the Word of God. We read in Deuteronomy 28, a book written by Moses, a curse that was promised to the Israelites if they rejected their God. It talks about how Israel will be scattered to the ends of the world and how they will be few in number and their enemies would destroy them if they rejected their God. Now, if we look at recent tragedies, and there are tragedies like the Holocaust, we can't say that was God's blessing on Israel. That was clearly not a blessing. So, it seems to me Israel has rejected their Messiah. I, I can't explain it any other way. The promises of the curse on Israel, if they rejected their God, have come true. Deuteronomy 28 has come true. I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings. Nope, I need a much better answer than that.